In this Excel video, I'm going to show you how to take a photo or a screenshot of data and then import it into Microsoft Excel and convert it into data that can be used in a spreadsheet. Let's get started. You can see that I have a couple of screenshots of data and I just found this data out on the internet. I was surfing the internet, took screenshots of it because I wished I could have that data in Excel. Let's look at how to make that happen. Here in Microsoft Excel, I'm just going to go to the Data tab and I'm going to look for an option called Picture from File. Now in many cases, you will see those actual words on the ribbon when you click on the Data tab. For me though, it's just an icon. It's right here. So I'm just going to click and choose Picture from File and Microsoft Excel gives me a pop-up window, a dialog box, and then I can just navigate my computer to find the picture that I want to turn into a table. For me, it's here in Downloads. It's this one here. I'll double click on it and Microsoft Excel is now trying to analyze the data and convert it so that it can import it into Microsoft Excel. Now at first glance, it seems like this worked flawlessly. Here's the picture and here's the data that's been interpreted. Now, if it's very important that your data be exactly right, you will probably need to review this data very carefully. But if it's not a life or death situation that you get the data exactly right, chances are this is going to be perfectly fine. So I'm going to click Insert Data. Excel gives us this notice that we are responsible for validating the accuracy of the data. So I click Insert Data, and what once was a photo is now a table of data in Microsoft Excel. I can now format this however I would like to. I can apply formulas to that data to add up the sum or average or whatever I want to do. Now, unfortunately, it's not always quite that smooth of a process. Let's take another look. I'm going to go back to data and click on the picture from file button again. This time I'm going to pick a picture I took of the top 10 or 15 NBA shot blockers. So here's the picture. And you'll notice that this time the results are a little different. Some of the results came in in pink. Also, I have a review button that's blue. I'm going to click on that review button and what it does is it zooms in on the text or data in question. So Nick Claxton, BKN for Brooklyn Nets. Excel just isn't sure that it interpreted that correctly. In this case, it did. So I'll click accept. Excel has a question about Brooke Lopez as well. I'll accept that. Miles Turner and Joel Embiid. And one more, Isaiah Jackson, Indiana. So I'm just clicking accept on all of those because it did interpret them correctly. And I'll just click accept, insert data. Once again, I get that notice from Excel, but I'll go ahead and click insert data. Now you'll notice that this time the results, even though it came in successfully, there are some issues. For some reason, our first result here was put in the wrong cell. So I just clicked on the very edge of the cell and dragged the data into the correct cell. And then I can click here on A23 in this case and put in the number one again. There are some other flaws in the data and I would have to examine this carefully to make sure that I've got the data right. But you can see there's some random numbers in the wrong place and it may or may not be a good idea for me to just delete these. But in my case, that's what I'm going to do. In fact, I'm going to use the row numbers by clicking and dragging to select the rows that I want to delete. And then I'll just right click delete. And then I can just right click on these other row numbers that I want to delete and then just go ahead and delete them. So this is a great, exciting feature in Microsoft Excel. I really like it. Sometimes it works flawlessly, like in this case. Other times you may need to make some corrections and clean up the data a little bit. But I think this is a great feature in Excel that's going to come in handy for a lot of people. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do that by clicking the thanks button below the video, or you could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch, and you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of Patreon, I want to give a quick shout out to my $5 Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all you do. Also, thank you to my other Patreon supporters. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you.